Greetings to everybody who tuned in to my video today. I, I really hope that um, you are having a blessed week. We are at the end of this week. And I want to go ahead and share um, Galatians 6, 9, which will be the topic of this uh, message today. And it's, and let us not grow weary while doing good. For in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. And that scripture lies on all those right now there's many of us uh brothers and sisters that are in a loop of possible just in a place where you're just not sure where you're heading and uh i just want to share this scripture because it's let us not grow weary while doing good and many of you are sharing the word or doing god's will and many of you are still on that track of finding god's will for your life and just remember to trust in the Lord and put all cares and needs in his hands. For God did create all things, including you, and he knows what is best for each of you. So I just want to always press this when I say do not refer to man as a, as a means of, of counsel and when I say man, that refers to ungodly counsel and the worldly teachings and the way of thinking and doing things. And yes, we do live in a society that attempts to mold you into man's ways of thinking and reacting and overall behavior. So Jesus shares this with us and warns us to, of this very thing. And he wants us to stay clear of that broad path and to stay on the narrow path which leads to God. And God has the absolute power and authority over all things of this world. And so keep in remembrance that he can break open the seven seals at any time. He is the ruler over all things, and he does hold the keys of heaven and eternal life. So we cannot face this world without the aid of God, and we need him every second and at all times while dwelling on fallen planet earth and he will draw near to those who draw near to him and we cannot face this world on our own and we don't have to you have a shepherd who is always willing and able to guide you on that right path along the journey so put your trust in the lord and and not of man not of not in the ungodly ways of of thinking and, and reacting and doing things while you're dwelling on earth. So God will always make the way when there seems to be no way. And there are no limitations with God. And he works off a different time clock than we do. So his timing is always perfect. And he makes everything perfect in his time. And just keep in mind, we all have an end destination. And that is to be with our Heavenly Father in I want to go ahead and just read to you Revelations chapter 21, verse 4. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, no, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Now, isn't that lovely? Can you imagine when we can, and this is faith, this is, this is what faith is, is just knowing that you're going to be, in, in a new heaven, in a new earth that God will create in his own time when he is ready for that moment to happen. And we see biblical prophecy already unfolding uh, right before us. So just keep this in mind. God will wipe away every tear from your eye. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, no crying. There shall be no more pain for these former things that we are dwelling in at this very moment will be passed away. We won't remember this earth. And just keep that in mind. You have that end destination, and that is to be with the Lord. And so in Revelation chapter 21, verse 3, it is, And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself self will be with them and be their God. Now, these are faith of things hoped for, for what we cannot see just yet. But can you imagine on that glorious day, and this is faith of knowing that you're going to have the Lord 
have the Lord as your aid and as your operator, and you'll be dwelling with him and he will be your your personal guide and God. And I, I think that is just very beautiful when we really read these scriptures and read them with faith, you will then see the that our creator has the best in store for us. So just be patient while you're dwelling on this earth and continue to to do good and not grow weary and to to ask God to show you his will while you're dwelling on earth. And, and I'll tell you, my friends, you will surely, surely see his hands in every single thing that you do. And I'm going to leave you with scripture from Jeremiah 17, 7. And it reads, blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is in the Lord. So there my there on that short scripture, my friends, it is so strong because it shares how one can be blessed and one can be blessed by just putting the trust in the Lord and hope in the Lord. And my friends, that is just a win win overall situation. And and so I hope that this message did encourage you and to continue to reach that end destination and do not give up now. You're halfway there and continue to hope and put all your trust in your heavenly father. Thank you so much for tuning in.